Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Grandia 2. Last time we left Sirem Kingdom. Rowan hooked us up with a boat. Uh, <laughs> a boat called the 5050. Uh, piloted, or I guess captained by Captain Bacala. And he took us, on, we're on our way to the island of Garland, where Ryudo is from, to see if we can find out something about Melfus and, you know, his past and stuff like that. See if we can figure out what's going on with him. Tio joined our party, and we decided to take a little break because Elena was getting seasick. We docked on this island and set up camp. Tide rose, and all these eggs hatched with all these crimson claws in them. So now we got to make our way back to the boat. So that's what we're going to do now. So, <laughs> you know, all these uh, crab-looking, crawfish-looking guys hatched while we were sleeping, because of course they did. So anyway, uh, we saw a little bit of a. Tio's Lotus Flower last time, but we're going to showcase it again here. And if you noticed, during while I was selecting the enemy to attack there, the line AoE did not actually reach as far as that this one right here, but it still hit him upon the attack, so it's a little bit deceiving. The Lotus Flower actually reaches very, very, very wide, so it's something to keep in mind. Very useful that it can hit everything. That's awesome, really. So it doesn't look like Merrick's going to take care of that one, so let's do so. Come on, hurry. Tio is very fast on the battlefield, too. I mean, look at that. Her speed is extremely high. You picked on the wrong people. <laughs> yes, they did. Tio's very, you know, it's, she sounds shy and reserved, but I mean, she's, you know, she's a... Automata, so she's basically a machine. Uh, doesn't really have any. Oh crap! Doesn't really have any. Um, I guess uh, maybe not emotions isn't the best way to put it, but you know, you get what I'm you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's use Lotus Flower again because reasons. Lotus Flower. Mm. Because it's just freaking awesome, really. And I like her... How is she holding those? I'm just curious. I mean, again, I know she's a machine, so she doesn't really care if she, you know, gets poked or cut or something, but uh, those are circular blades that she's just holding like it's not a big deal. These guys were no real challenge. You got that right. We haven't taken a hit yet. Okay, I don't know why the screen does that sometimes. I think it's just, like, in this area that it kind of does that sometimes, where... It's really like fleshed out and almost transparent. That's not like an error or anything. Um, that's how it looks for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep continuing along. Oh, we got some frogs here. Check them out. And flame toads. So that should give you an idea. Um, that ice would be a good idea. And you know what? I just thought of something. I was supposed to use all those ice fang stones that I picked up. I was supposed to use those on the last boss. Ugh, I'm kind of mad about that now. I totally forgot about that. Oh well, I guess I can do that on the next boss. Um, I guess I'll just do regular attacks. Although I did recover, so I guess I do need to use something. Does she have any ice? No, she doesn't have ice anything. Uh, she has cold and freeze, but they're not like attacking spells. They just drop action and movement. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's just do an impact bomb on you. Why not? Here goes my impact bomb. Woo! Boom! Got him. Oh no, you don't. Ugh, you jerk. Really? Okay, well not too bad. Man, Merrig is fast too, holy crap. Nothing withstands my blade. I know. Alright. So this place isn't too bad. Going. We can't get over there yet. 
Uh, let's go ahead and cross this and see... Oh, wow. Dragonfly Slayer. That sounds cool. Let's go ahead and throw that on Merrick. It's obviously an axe. Oh, if you saw it sitting there on the... You know. Well, okay, so we have a Dragonfly Slayer and a Dragon Slayer Axe. <laughs> Effective on bugs and crustaceans. I'm going to put that on him, even though the raw attack power is a little bit lower than what he had. But uh, crustaceans and bugs... These uh, Crimson Claws are definitely that, so I'm going to um, show you just how big of a difference that makes. I think he was doing something like close to 300 per combo hit before, uh, but now let's see what kind of damage he can do now. Let's attack this one, and I'll finish that one off with Tio. Yeah, 400, 400 and 429 per hit there. Very, very nice. see if I can warp away before he can hit me. Oh man! Oh man, and now Elena's just getting completely destroyed. Okay. Oh well. What's Elena doing? Just like running away? That, uh... What was it? Dragonfly Slayer or something like that? Yeah, very nice, very nice. Blessing Scroll, I think removes a move or magic blessing. I think it works on both. Okay, nothing there. I don't think there was anything... Oh, I guess I was wrong. Gale Stone. I want a bunch more of those Ice Fang Stones. I still have to use those. Oh, if you check this out, this is like a side effect. <laughs> Ryudo's completely lost his color. Um, I think... That's obviously like a glitch, but I think that only happens if he has the warp shoes on, which he does, and for some reason, like, when it when it warps him across the map and it tries to recreate his textures or something like that, like, they're completely gone. They don't translate or something. Something weird happens. It's kind of funny. Thousand gold. Right, which way was I... Okay, I was going this way. I was like, which way was I going? Okay, we can hop across gaps like that, but we can't swim. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's see what we got. Man, more frogs. Holy crap! Oh, more frogs. Oh, goodness. I just remembered that. I got an accessory. Oh, there's a big chest right there. I got an accessory and... Um, a skill book from that last boss battle. From when we fought the Claw of Valmar. I totally forgot about that. So let's look at the Book of Gales. Uh, there's a plus 10 to 50 speed, wind and lightning power, wind and blizzard power, as you sometimes counter after evasion. That could be interesting. Cuts execution times for item command. So I don't know about all that, but uh, maybe the speed, but I don't know if I have any skill. Um, oh, well, rito has got one more that I could use. Um, but I don't think he really needs anything. No, I mean, I may just wait on that kind of stuff for a little bit. I do want to go ahead and learn Tio's other move, a legendary attack dance. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. Fast Dance Whirl, that's pretty, a pretty good move. Uh, we'll see that a little bit later. I also wanted to check out that accessory that I got. Now I just gotta remember the name of it. I'm not gonna put it on Ryuta, I just wanna look at it. Is this what it was, Mana Insignia? I think it was. Cuts MP consumption by 15%. Man, that could be really good for Elena. So maybe I should put... Maybe I should put this on her. She'll lose all that defense, but maybe I should put... Um, let's take a look at status. She has 133 vitality. Actually, let's look at her total defense. 196 is her total defense. Everybody's total defense is through the roof. So maybe I should give the vitality to Elena since she doesn't have that... Um, she doesn't have that accessory anymore to boost her defense. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, scroll of all heal right there. I think that's like 250 or 500 to all party members. Let's take a look at what's in this chest. Flame shoes, flame bandana, and flame armor. Okay. Let's take a look. Flame armor. Level 2 fire resistance. Uh, ah, you don't really need it. Now look at the shoes. Flame shoes. Eh. Not really crazy about those either, especially since he has a warp shoes. So I'm probably not going to give him any of this. 
I may give him the bandana. Yeah, I may give him the bandana. Okay, let's see. She can't use any of those. She can use the flame shoes, but meh. He can use... <laughs> he can use, like, any of this. What does he have? May evade attack. He just has nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put... Uh, yeah, why not? Wing boots. Sounds good. Uh, and then maybe I'll give him the flame armor? That's... Or maybe I'll give Tia the flame armor. No, I'll give... I'll give uh, Mary the flame armor. And let's see. I gave... Ryu the flame bandana. So now I have flame shoes. I don't want to give him to her. Okay, I'm not putting the flame shoes on anybody. Screw that. Okay, we got another little gap to jump here. Huh, who jumps like that? Like, spreads their legs out wide. Excellent! Thousand gold! Oh man, these guys are everywhere. Okay, here's a special move that the Crimson Claws have called Move Block Step. Basically, it just puts a move block, or has a chance of putting a move block on somebody. It didn't to Tia, so thank goodness. Okay. I think we're getting pretty close. Alright. Not too bad. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, Ryudo's up to level 4 now. Oh, my God! Okay. For God's sakes. Healing fruit. Ugh, I almost don't want it anymore. I'm scared. Cecile Reef 2. Oh man, I'm only like halfway through. There's so many enemies in this area. Oh man. Like I'm scared of all these like holes in the rock now. Oh, uh, yep, there's one right there. Tio's up to 34. Nice. Uh, okay. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep trucking. Ugh. Seriously, who jumps like that? You're so weird. You need jumping lessons. Oh, so here's some frogs just waiting to jump on me. I know you're going to do it, so just do it. Okay, apparently those flame toads can poison you. Explain that one to me, because I can't figure that out. Uh, they poison Mary. They poison with fire? What are they doing? Uh, Rito needs a little bit of help. Okay. Oh man, more of them. Yeah, boy. I be killing frogs all day long. Getting thousand gold off the ground. Okay, that that's terrible. All right, Vice, don't do that again. Oh, hey, new enemy. These kind of look like the the guys that we ran into in. Ah, oh, where was it? Have we seen something like this before? I feel like we have. I I just can't remember. Scaly Warrior. Uh, they don't sound very friendly, so. Let's, uh, let's address that with Zap. Let's see what this does. So we may not get to see them attack, but I'll show another battle if I do run into them again. Holy thunder! Holy thunder! Ouch. Like, here's my question, because, okay, that just destroyed everybody, but what about Ryudo? Because he was standing there right in the middle of everything. How does he not get hurt from that? How can you divine special immunity in that lightning storm? I don't know. Big treasure chest, 3,000 gold. Did all this wash up in the tide? That's what I'm wondering, because where, where did all this gold come from? No questions, just smile and accept the money. That's what my dad always taught me. He said, if somebody ever tries to give you money, like for something, like to pay you back or something, or, you know, offers you money, don't ask questions. Just smile and say thanks. Okay. Ooh, lunacy egg. That doesn't sound very fun. 
I think... I think what that does... Oh crap, they're both using it. I think what that does is... I could use Zap again, but I don't want to. I, you know, maybe we'll see one of these. Here goes my I think it's kind of like... Ah, uh, what was it called? I'm just having a complete mind fart, brain fart right now. On what the previous enemies, those enemy types, looked like. But I think we saw something like that. And uh, what are they doing? Like, what is he doing? I think this is going to cause confuse. He just spit that up out of his throat. I think that has the potential to cause confuse. It obviously didn't. But I think it can. Spin move! I love that. Even harder. Like spinning back fist. See the moves! Show me your moves! We give that to Captain Falcon. Okay, I will cut this battle out because I'm tired of these things. Okay. A lullaby staff. What was it doing in a treasure chest? Usually they leave weapons, like, out. Okay, let's check it out. Sleep effect. I guess I'll put it on. Ah, why not? Free weapon! It's a little bit lower in raw attack than the other one, but that's okay. God, I'm like paranoid, like around every corner now. Oh, there's some right there. Oh, crap! Oh, no! Stop! I totally got surprised in that fight. Not this one, though. Okay, there's something down this way. I'm not sure. Is this... Yeah, I may want to wait on that for just a second. Let me explore the rest of this place. Okay, man. So many fights around here. Electrum Stone. Okay, okay, so that's the way forward. So hold on one minute. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to that one path over here. I think there's gotta be like a treasure or something over here, right? Merrig's up to 35, and we get a mermaid harp, huh? I'll take a look at that. Alright, so let's look at that mermaid harp. I'm kind of... that's piqued my interest a little bit. Uh, is it in... is it in here? Other harps are in here. Mermaid harp. Confusion effect might break. Eh. So I came all the way back there for that. Really? Really? Okay, whatever. Alright, well here's a save point, so... Let me recover, and let me save. Let me cut this out, so hold on one second. Alright. So I'm back. Let's see what else is up here. Oh, what the crap are those? Well, something we gotta fight, so let's take a look at powering up some of our stiff. Actually, I'm gonna power this up a little bit more. Uh, Fast Dance World, just because it is pretty good. Now, we haven't seen it yet, but trust me, it's pretty good. I'll power that up a good bit more. And, uh, that's good for now. Mana Egg. Actually, let's go to the Book of Gales. Because maybe, uh, well, maybe not. Let me look at the Mana Egg stuff. See, I don't think I have any, uh, like, Blizzard or, uh, attacks like that. Oh, it's in here. Wind, Water, Blizzard. Hmm. Well, Merrig's not really good with magic, so I don't really want to waste anything like that. Although, I guess I could shift that off on Tio. But she's not amazing at magic either. I don't know. Alright, let me just dump um, some more of these magic coins into here. Attack with Dragon Lightning? Yes. Dragon Zap. Sounds awesome. Super expensive, but whatever. Okay, you know what? I just, I don't know. I was just kind of off the cuff there. Alright, let's take these guys on. Holy crap, they're fast. Alright, so like, this is a little mini boss or something. I don't know. Have we gotten this music before? I don't know. Phantom Echo, huh? Alright, so we got two Crimson Tails here. Apparently, they're what's laid all the eggs around here. Ten 
say can slash! Boom! Here goes my impact bomb! Yup. whoop -a. Got him. Okay. Oh, crap, okay, they're just doing regular attacks. Alright, let's break out the fast dance whirl on one of these guys. Um, why not? It doesn't really matter. I'll do Beast King Smash on this one, too. I guess I can ruin this guy's party. He's going over here to attack Elena, but let me put an end to that. Beast King Smash! Man, that move is awesome. Here goes! So nice! 1500 damage. See what I'm talking about? That's a nice move. Pretty cool looking too. It's like this, uh... I don't know, she does this... Uh, it's called Fast Dance World, so it's obviously a dance. So it's kind of cool that she can do all that. Anyway, oh! Man, I keep forgetting about these stupid Ice Fang stones. Okay, you know what? It's time to unleash. <laughs> I like that. Ha ha! That's what I'm talking about. Just keep using them. Why not? Except for the fact that everybody's super slow in using them. But I'll be damned if I'm not going to use all these Ice Fang Stones. That's right, I'm using one with every single one of them. Yup. Please take this. Uh, please take this. Straighten your mouth. Here you go. <laughs> More ice to the jaw. Just relentless. <laughs> I love that. One more. Yep. There you go. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Whoop, 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 whoop. How's that feel? I'm sure he wasn't very happy about all of us ganging up on him like that, but tough cookies. I'm gonna do a flying tensei can on you just because I can. Fast dance whirl. It's gonna get real. Sky, take flight. Here goes flying ten seconds. Man, and even two thousand. That's beautiful. Here Let's keep goes. rocking. Uh, let's see what she's got. Uh, maybe I can... Eh. Eh, I'll just do an impact bomb. Here goes my impact bomb. Throw it! 841, puny damage. Beast King Smash! Man, I love that move. Come on, Ryuta. Chop, chop. 1304. This might not kill it, but it'll be very, very close. Oh, it did kill it. Nice. See ya! Sorry, we just kind of crashed your island and killed all your babies and then you. You know, when I think about it like that, man, we are kind of dicks. I mean, we kind of just invaded their island and Killed those things and all their children. Jerk move. Jerk move. But hey, we got a man egg out of it, so it's worth it. So, you know, whatever. Alright, so let's check that out really, really quickly. Um, the soul egg is what we got here. It's a wind, water, lightning, su sagacious mana egg? I'm guessing that's supposed to be sage. Sagacious? Oh, I don't know. 
it's already a level 19, so it kind of comes powered up a little bit already. Let's see what else it's got here. It's wind, water, and lightning, so... I'm never sure to see what that really means. So here's Zap again. Uh, here's Poison. Craze. Okay, where's where's the water? Or is that is it talking the water is uh, the healing stuff? So maybe this one's not very good. Ooh, revives a fallen character. Oh, we don't have this on anyone yet. Resurrect. Okay, so just this by itself is worthy of putting on somebody. So I'm going to probably give that to... Hmm. Not really a f I'm not really a fan of the Mist Egg. Let me take that off and I'll put the Soul Egg on Merrick. It's, it's kind of funny putting him in charge of the Resurrect spell, but he's probably the biggest tank in our party, so that might make sense. So, okay, let's go back to the point, see if we can make our way back to the ship. And then I'm going to call it an episode. I, hopefully there's like a save point or something around here. Um, I'm not entirely sure that there is. So maybe I should head back real quick. I don't know. Screw it, let's just go. I'd like to end the episode fairly soon, but hey, whatever. You made it back just in time. The wind be blowing just right now. I could give a damn about the wind. Why the hell didn't you tell us about the killer eggs? Killer what? Was your breakfast messing with you, lad? Arr, you look no worse for the wear. This is coming out of your tip. <laughs> now be fair, lad. I've never put ashore here myself, and we wouldn't be here now if it weren't for your young lady there. In any case, prepare to shove off. <laughs> I love how Ryuto's like, this is coming out of your tip, buddy. All right, well, we be hitting the high seas again. All right. Uh, so I guess there's the edge of the granite cliffs there. All the water flowing off the edge. With this wind, we be bound for success. Maybe you should clue the rest of us in here, Captain. What the hell are you talking about? Some days there be a strong updraft from the granite cliffs. That's what we got now. We spread the ship's sails to catch the updrafts, and we glide across the granite cliffs like a wee little fairy. But if we do not make it across... That's why I made you work so hard. It was an air pump. We release the compressed air and fly. Huh. That strangely makes sense. Holy crap, we're going right now with all of us standing outside? Don't just stand there. You'll get knocked off. He could have warned us. Who's going to steer this death trap? You got barnacles for brains, lad? Think what happens when the ship flies. We get to the other side and blammo! Then sink or swim. That's why she's called the 50-50. <laughs> <Huh>? Huh? <laughs> Everyone get inside! <laughs> oh man. Oh, we got this. America's working like a boss. <laughs> oh, I gotta love that. Looks like we made it. Home. Ryu 
Pluto, is something the matter? How long before we arrive at Garland? And what is wrong with you, Ryudo? You do not seem pleased to see your home again. If I weren't looking for the Divine Sword, I'd never go home. Ryudo? I don't even want to go home to that miserable place. Wh why is that? It's your hometown! The village was created to protect an idol. They worshipped it, built it a shrine. Idol? To protect the idol, we trained as swordsmen, aiming to purify our souls and resist evil. That was the idea, anyway. Until my brother messed everything up. What exactly? Ah! What is it, Sky? Ryudo, there! I see it! Yeah, I see it too, Sky. Well, Elena, there it is. Garland. Looks like we're in store for some pretty epic stuff here. Thank you very much. I think I've finally become used to sea travel. This time I did not even mind the rolling and swaying. Uh, anyway, I never even imagined that we could fly across the granite cliffs. Truly a most remarkable idea. Aye, the odds were against us, but we made it. Now the ship be needed repairs aplenty. Captain Bacala, thanks again. Don't mention it. I'll be in port a while. When you be done with your business, we're all yours. Sounds good. Alright, let's check this place out. Can't really say home sweet home. Ryota doesn't seem too happy to be here. Well, let's get the flyover, as usual. Seems there's a lot of dogs around. So we don't get any music or anything for this town, which is kind of off-putting. Don't really know how I feel about that kind of mood being set. Anyway. Nothing's changed. Everything is just as I remember it. What a quiet village. It seems so terribly sad. Been like that for a while. Hey, it's Ryudo. What the hell is that slime ball doing back here? Um, what? I see you are heated here, Ryudo. Tio, that is a terrible thing to say. But, Ryudo, what is going on? Uh, that's a good question. Let's go ahead and the end and bunk up. We need to save the game in any way, so. Let's see if I can do so. That can't be. Ryudo! Why did you come back here? To haunt us? Um, no. Get out of here as soon as you can. Ryudo, you're back? And I never thought I'd have to see your face again. Thanks, bud. What a warm welcome. Good to see you, too. Anyway, I'm not sure what the hell's going on, but we're going to save the game, and I'm going to call it an episode, because we're getting pretty long here. Sorry about that, but, um... Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
And next time we're going to go through the island of Garland and talk to some people and see why nobody's really happy to see us here and we're not really happy to be here either. So we're going to see what's going on here. That I have to wait till next time. So until then, you guys take care and I'll see you guys later for more Let's Play Grandia 2.